But when they hate it, then you think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you came for the night What's good with y'all? I so what are we getting into today? So for those that may think we have a lot of action going on and y'all gonna see something extravagant today, I'm sorry to inform you today ain't that day, man. Today we got some running around to do, and uh yeah, so for the most part, today we're about to be heading over to our boy Josh over at JRG's. We're about to be dropping off this LS7. That way he can do my LS7 build and get this thing ready to go in the C5. So that's pretty much what we got going on today. I'm not sure if Junior's gonna be pulling up in the C7 Z06. If so, we might do a ride in that thing, but I'm not sure if he's coming. So with that being said, let's get on and get the day started. Ah, wow, it took a minute for that thing to focus up and get out the white screen. But <laughs> yeah, so a lot of y'all are familiar with my c5 this is my frc right here yeah i'm shin so i've been um contemplating on what i want to do with this thing at first i was going to do a supercharged ls1 then i thought about doing a crazy ls3 but you guys know that i picked up the ls7 for it so the goal for this is to do about a 600 horsepower naturally aspirated ls7 something with a mild cam not too crazy e85 atomic msd just the, the basics you know just the basics getting 600 horsepower out of a ls7 isn't that hard so that's the goal for this thing i want a reliable 700 horsepower something that drives good uh we're gonna set this thing up on flex field that way i could drive it here and from so hopefully 550 on 91 pump and 600 or a little over 600 on the 85 so i already have all the parts and everything loaded up in the back of the truck I have the headers and everything right here from American Racing. This is going to be the headers, the X-pipe and all that. That's going to connect up to the SLP that's currently on there. So I think for the most part, I have everything. For the most part. Oh, so, and before we leave, I do got something I want to address too because it's pretty funny. So, you guys know that this car was at Saks P Shop. They were originally going to do the swap. It was there for about, uh, dropped it off in July, so almost almost three months or so so i just went recently picked up the car and people were saying i didn't even say nothing i just went and picked up the car i was like all right i picked up the the c5 and instantly people jumped to conclusions it was like oh what happened what happened you're beefing with sax b shop now blah 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 so it goes to show that even if i don't say nothing people are automatically going to assume things so it's like whether you say something people are going to assume shit even if you don't say anything at all people are going to assume shit so it was for me it was like you know that was pretty that's pretty funny. Like literally in the comment section, people were, what happened with Saxby Shop? Saxby Shop messed up. Saxby Shop this. Look, he's always beefing with somebody. He's beefing with Saxby Shop. That's the only reason he went and picked up the car. Blah, 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 blah. Like, there is no beef with, with me and Saxby Shop. Me and Alex are homies. I literally picked up the car because it sat there for um, almost three months. Uh, the heads didn't come off. And that was it. Am I mad? No. Am I, are we funking, beefing? No. Like, there's literally i talked to alex damn near every few days at least so me and alex are cool and ain't no bad blood no tension because the fucking car didn't get touched or anything like that like we're fine i'm i have i have a josh finish the car and that's gonna be that but it does go to show that anytime i move or go grab something pick up something regardless of what it is people are always gonna make an assumption and like i told alex i'm like when i posted the video of me driving the car out of Saks Fee Shop. When people were making their assumptions, I didn't say nothing. Just for the simple fact that, like, it wasn't it wasn't no point to address it. I'm at a point now where, when people say shit or do shit or whatever, like, I'm just not gonna address it anymore, man. Like, 100% going forward, I'm just not gonna address no more rumors, no more nothing, because regardless if you address it or say anything about it, you know, you don't win. You don't win, you can't win, so, I'm just like, whatever. I'm gonna just do all my content, have fun, let people think what they wanna think, let them make their own narrative. Maybe maybe that's a good thing, you know? Maybe letting people make their own narratives and not being as transparent everything is a good thing. Maybe it'll allow people to argue in the comments with each other and, you know, push views and whatever, narratives and all that shit. So, going forward, that's gonna be our route. We're just gonna be having fun, doing car content, and I'm, I'm not addressing no more rumors or none of that shit, because, you know, I realize that it, that it doesn't matter. 
the end of the day it doesn't matter so i just want to say that going forward y'all ain't gonna hear me say Shh about nothing nothing so with that being said let's go over here and get our ass to josh's even though we don't need it right now i do want to get this american racing box in the truck and just take it over that way it's out of my way and i don't have to take it over later so let me load this up let's take them back all right, we just getting here to my guys. LS7. Joshy! Oh, shit. Hitting the button. <laughs> right? It's cracking. What's up? How are you? Good. Good, good. This thing done? Yeah, almost. Yeah. I should have her, uh, have her fired up today. Did you pick her up today? I fell asleep like at five in the morning, so probably not. <laughs> and then I got another car getting dropped off too. It's so, cool if you need me to take it home, I'll take it home for him, you know? Hey, let's do it. Let's do it. Just leave this, have him pick this up. Yep, let's do okay, it. It's all done. Fuck it. <laughs> all right. All right, let's see what we got, what we got. Oh, it's complete, complete. Oh, yeah. It's a stock motor. Stock LS3. I mean, LS3. <laughs> LS7. I'm so used to LS3s. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. I'm going to probably, not probably, I'm going to tear it down a little bit because I want to put it right on the engine stand. That's good. So I'm going to tear it down and then you can take your manifolds and cats, stuff like that, that I just don't need here. It's all good. I thought we were going to put those back on. Huh? I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> also brought the American Racing uh, long tubes, X pipe. That way, I don't gotta bring the truck That's back. Fine. That's fine. I'll put it. I'll put it in there. I'll put it in the truck. No problem, sir. No problem. All right, let's uh, get this thing out of here. Ugh! Oh my God, the LS7 oil cap's ugly. It's uh, it doesn't work. Huh? It doesn't work. So. Back in 06, when they first came out, guys were getting their oil changes at, you know, just random spots, and they were hydro-locking these engines. This is back in 06, 07. They were taking the covers off, popping that open, not draining the dry sump, just draining the two drains, uh -huh. the pan, filter, uh -huh. filling it up with the with the quartz. They would fire it up in the in the valve that goes from here to the dry sump. It would be overfilled, fired it all up, and they were hydrolocking the engines with oil, smoke, cracked blocks. <laughs> so there was a big, huge thing that happened back in 06, 07 with these things. Because nobody knew how to change the oil on a dry sump engine. That's hella funny. That's a trip, right? Yeah, so that's a lock cap. So you can't even open the shit? You can, it just, you, uh, you once you open it, you break the tab. Huh. It's like a one time, if they lock it in and then that's pretty much it. So, yeah. YOLO. YOLO. All right, Josh, you starting to disassemble right now? Yep. I can put it right on the engine stand. Heads are going to be coming off to get the, the notorious LS7 head fix done. We also got the cam and everything over there, so I'm doing a Texas Speed this time around. Already got everything. Josh has a list of the stuff that we need to uh, convert it. Convert it over. So we're getting rid of the dry sump setup. Yeah, we're gonna get her wet instead of dry. <laughs> so what I do? I thought about keeping it, but where, like, where will we put the tank at? Like, I don't want it to look hella messy. Man, there'd be a lot of fab, a lot of, like I said, that one that I did back in 04, 05. I mean, it was a full road race car. It was a Z06, 02. His dry sump was in his passenger seat with the thing around it. It was an Accu sub, but it was a full blown race car, high yeah. compression, crazy, but it just, there's just not a lot of room, but uh, there are solutions out there, but. I would just delete it. Use it's a street car. car. Yeah. Yeah, just like the V, it's just a street car. Yeah. It's a family car. <laughs> there it is, right? You know, if it blows up, then we go like, you know, dart block i got a ysi i just don't want to do it with a stock ls7 block yeah because the sleeves crack sleeves crack <laughs> all right so joshy just filled me in on some good information i wish i would have knew yes sir like a month ago 
So I had a brand new twin disc clutch for this thing and uh, I was told that it wouldn't work because we needed a LS7 flywheel or LS7 some shit and supposedly it was getting all mixed up. But Josh said that literally, if we're doing the LS7 swap and a C5, we use the 100% the LS1 clutch on here. He said the LS7 clutch Correct. would require a shim. Correct. So that's the only difference. So I had a brand new clutch that I just gave somebody a f***ing deal on that I could have kept. <laughs> yeah, so the C5, the C5 Corvette has a different bell housing, different throw, different measurements. But what happens is when you put an LS7 or an LS3 or anything in a C5 chassis, the flange of the crankshaft and the face of this has not changed. The geometry is based off of the bell housing. So usually when you do an LS7 clutch in a C5, you have to run a shim on the slave to get the right uh, clearances. But in this scenario, this being completely out of the equation, I don't care if this is a LS3, doesn't matter, it does not matter. It could be an LS2 that we're putting in there. All that matters is the bell housing and the chassis it's going to. And that's it. And that's that's literally it. So it has to be specifically for C5. It could be a twin disc, triple disc, whatever. I'm here to do it up and be like, hey, did you ever use that clutch? If so, uh, let me buy it back. <laughs> it was brand new in the box. I never even opened the box. <laughs> well, you always gotta open the box. Before. It was brand new. I was like, well, I'll open it when we get ready to put it on. Yep. Yeah, this is uh this is definitely the original clutch. It's been changed, yeah. Pilot bearing. Oh, and that's another thing too as well. The pilot bearing goes back to a C5 bearing because again, the output shaft, the bell housing, the slave mm -hmm. and everything. So this is the C6 one, which is out further. The C5 one is in the secondary hole closer to the freeze plug and the crankshaft. So it's a different shaft, different everything. So we just basically put it back to like LS1. Mentally an LS1. That's it. Just it's based off chassis and torque tube, not the engine. This does not change. That's why you could put an LSX block in these. You could do an L, uh, LSR block, a dart block. Does not matter. It's based off chassis. Oh, I'm gonna hit him up and see if I can get my clutch back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see this video like, oh man. And just to confirm. It is a 7 0. You know, then we're gonna say 5 3, mm -hmm. 5 7, 4 8, 7 0. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, man. It's okay. All right, this thing is damn near all the way stripped down. Harness off everything. Yep, on Monday, I can take the heads already. Get the ball rolling. Hopefully, uh, she doesn't get demonetized in the back. Nah, we good. Okay. <laughs> Shit, Josh, are they pulling them off today? Yeah, I just, it'll make it easier for me if I do it now out the way and out the way i don't have to worry about it i could take it to the machine shop get the fix done on monday cam job do, 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 do. junior's car that's it so when at this rate you look like you want me to drop the c5 off asap right uh let me <laughs> let me uh let me get the cam in first <laughs> let, me, let me definitely get this car out of here <laughs> that, that one's been in the background for a while we're just waiting a few more little parts, but that, that that's your best be awesome. friend, though. He'll understand. No, he does. No, he does. <laughs> yeah, no, he does. He probably getting the best discount out of everybody. Well, the moment, the moment, uh, the moment the the head showed up, we waited three months for him. So it's been up there for so long. So, yeah. And then the moment I finished here, I put the engine in. The engine's already in. Measured for push rods, everything. Did some custom fun stuff on that one. That one's gonna be a monster. Gonna be cool. Hopefully when these heads come off, we don't see no fucking valve sit on the piston. How would you put that universe? Um, where's some wood at? Let me knock on it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I know. Heads getting ready to come off. I knew I was from my dad's left nut because I know I ain't right. <laughs> no, I'm not right in the head.
Dude, we literally been here for like no longer than like an hour and a half, and this fool's already got this thing about the down to a short block. This is what happened with my CTSV. I had the engine out of it. I think L LS is easier than LT, right? LS is way easier than LT. <laughs> yes, yes. LT is definitely a. Uh, it's. It takes some time for the, those guys. Those guys are uh, modern. Those guys are definitely a lot more intricate. Couple more bolts, and we get to see if we got valves in here. Moment of truth getting ready to happen right now. No pressure. No pressure. We just don't want to see a valve wedged into the piston. No, I think we're in good shape. I never spun the engine, but we see a valve in there. This shit just turned into a supercharged LS7 real quick. Resleeved. <laughs> I got a YSI. Got a YSI for it. Ah, oh, great. There's no valve prints on it. <laughs> nope, we're good. So far on this side. Nope. We're halfway there. We're halfway good. <laughs> no drags from the rings or anything on here. Alright. Valves, valves, valves. Oh. Nope. That looks good. Two, two squirrel nuts in there. One and two. <laughs> there we go. Ironically, it's two nuts. Ah. And no, I did not cut myself. You usually cut me. Ah, looks good. Oh, yeah. Looks actually like a good candidate. A good candidate. Valves actually look like they're seated too. Yeah. There's not one that's like yeah. bulging out further than the other. Yeah. yeah. Well, you should know about bulging. Yeah. You know about it. Yeah, where you can see like the little gap between the, the seal point. You didn't catch that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Just being pervy. Uh huh. Typical Josh. Nah, it looks good. It's not really protruding out too far. Over in the combustion chamber. What it really knows to pull a valve spring off and move it on the valve. Yeah. But. We're fixing it anyway. Yep. Well, see, there's, I mean, pistons look fine. No yeah, contact, so. It just looks like a well seasoned LS7. I mean, which is good. It's a good candidate. That means it had no it's, issues. It's well broken in. Yes, well broken in. Now we're going to put your shit in. Just like your transmission. <laughs> All right, so this is how you know Josh is a motherfucking expert when it comes to these LSs. So we have a, a, a harness that came off of here and I was like, man, too bad I don't know where your harnesses came from because I'm gonna post that thing up on eBay, you know what I'm saying? Because I seen the LS7 Z06 harnesses going for like a thousand bucks. And he was like, oh, once the front cover goes off, I'll be able to tell which year it is based on the oil pan gasket. And as soon as it came off, he was like, oh, it's the 06. So he said the 06 is orange and then anything after that is a black gasket. So I couldn't tell you if it was an 07 or up without running like a serial number. Expert. That's why he gives Spade the big bucks. Sir, do what I do. I'm that. This thing's like this garbage. At this point, we might as well do some pisses and rods in here. We're already this far in. <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> I'm, I'm making this bitch 16 to 1. <laughs> Fuck around, find out real quick. <laughs> 800 horsepower, naturally aspirated yeah. LS7. <laughs> uh, Crack sleeve. <laughs> Don Junior! What's up, man? What's up? You told me you was knocked out. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. You was uh, uh, uh. You got me sick, bro. Uh, I'd be like that. <laughs> told you I was sick when we went to Reno. Mm-hmm. I'm sick now. Yeah. All right, there y'all go. Everything's all torn down. Ready to go to the machine shop. Oh. This motor about the dog walk your V. Naturally aspirated. Josh, you better tell me about a 600 horsepower NALS7 when we give him a run for his money, right, Josh? Josh, Josh, tell this man, Josh, here he go. Here he go. Here he go. Here he go. Underestimating power to weight with this C5. Here he go again. 
We ain't gonna say how the GT500 was dragging you all through Reno. You better replay the clip. <laughs> hey, replay the clip. Oh, Bruh, I heard about that. He wants to go first, second, let off. Like, get the fuck out of here. First, second, let off. Who won? Who won the 80? First, second, let off. I'm like, bro, why you keep letting off as soon as I'm about to fucking fly by you? <laughs> There's traffic. Watch the video. You want to run it back? Run it back. 880. Loser buys lunch. Eighth mile, zero. Eighth mile, that's plenty of room for me. Sure. Bet. Bet. Boom. There we go. Locking in, right? Yeah. Don't All right, spin, don't. My boy. Don't. I bought. I bought. Come on. I bought. And I, and I got an intake now. It's over. Do that's your, your ass. Thing. Do your oh, thing. you did put the JLT. It yeah. makes a big difference on that car. Mm -hmm. Jason just pulled up for the 2 2. I don't care. Run it. I send my shit to Texas. Mm -hmm. by that, hey, by that time. You know what? For you, I'm willing to work on a Mustang. <laughs> just kidding. Don't. Oh, you want to do some GT? Just kidding, just you want to do some GT 500 shit? Let me know if you want this in GT5 and shit. You know, I buy the pulley, the injectors. Josh A. Josh A, don't uh, say that. Yeah. And do my research. Yeah, if you do that. That's your yeah. ass if we do that with the GT500. I need a ride along. Three bolt-ons, 900. For real? Ba, 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 DCT, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he said DCT. You can say the N-word. Oh, I know. <laughs> He's like, I, I grew he's up like, in the city. I went to Thurgood Marshall. Trust me. He's like, I got hella black friends. <laughs> They're all here. <laughs> all three of us. 